my name is Lee, Lee Phillips. And I've been here in this area a good 50 years. And I live right here in this fifth wheel trailer. And I work right here, and this is my pressure washer. So I keep all the trucks clean. And this is one of the trucks I keep clean right here. Every week they come in and they're dirty. Uh, these haul sand and gravel from the pit, two different job sites all over Southern California. Oh. And this is home base right here. Uh, for today, we're going to, let me lock this, come up here. So today I parked the truck here like this so we can put a model around here. As the sun sets, we'll have a nice background here. And these are some of the other trucks that I keep clean out here. You can see that one over there, like the fourth one down. It's real dirty. I didn't get a chance to get to that one yet. So what do we expect uh, in today's shoot? Oh, um, 10 beautiful models. 10 beautiful models will be coming models, here. And maybe 20 photographers. So this location is quite unique because it's different. I mean, we got trucks, we got equipment. It's not your typical, you know, studio type location. So today we got some big, big cats in the back there and trucks. And what else do we have here? We got some cats over here, a dozers. Okay. So each week, each time we have a shoot here, we manage to find different locations and come out with some great pictures. And today should be no exception. Bill McGill. Uh, I'm here to assist my my good friend in uh, setting up and organizing uh, his uh, IE night owls, and so uh, and in turn, I'm learning to shoot a little bit better with other photographers. And some of the ladies coming, uh, I've shot in the past, and I enjoy their company, and they're fun to shoot with. So and it gets me out of the humdrum of my life and I can do other things that's a little more enjoyable. So this is just one of the items. I, I try to promote the girl. I, I try to promote my friends that are doing it that I have a lot of respect for. And just try to, to, try to have a good time. So uh, that's, uh, that's about all we can do. And uh, just keep Keep pushing forward and share the photographs and with the girls and uh, hopefully they get a better clue on what they want to do too. So we all try to help each other along. So we're not in we're not uh, so much uh, in conflict. There we go. So we're not trying to take pictures that belong to somebody else. So we're we're trying to learn how to work the camera with other photographers. And that's the fun part. That's a good company. I like to shoot for fun. Friends. Socialization. I like to work with people who are organizing them because I help them by bringing in equipment so that they can get to moving. And uh, I'm trying to put uh, a video production uh, uh, company together. I have a camcorder, so I'm working with some people in Mexico, so hopefully we'll have some a uh, good video coming out of Mexico so pretty soon so you know so it's just vesting in the in young people so that uh, they uh, get a little bit of a hand 
Right. Everybody needs a hand. Well, that's that's a toughie. Depends on the person that you're working with or the girl. Where do they want to go? Then I introduce them to the photographers. I, I take them where they they're where they're uh, as exposed as much as possible to other photographers that are going to advance them in their career. Okay. So that's a that's that's about the best thing you can do. You know, uh, it's sort of like the saying: you can't you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. That's it. You can't make him drink. And so the same thing goes in life. You can lead somebody in a direction, but you can't make them actually perform in that, at that level. So you walk them through it one step at a time, and eventually they get where they want to be. Group of them. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, but you know how they threw the monkeys together? They, they actually, the, the, the band had started to, so they just mismatched them. Was there originally them. five? Uh, I think they had, I think they had problems with that, so they just took what they had and worked with it. That's part. So, you know, so now it's a, I, I have a crutch, and my dad has a crutch. My dad has his crutch, which uh -huh. is me, uh -huh. and, and I have his crutch, which is me. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? That's right. That was retirement. Oh, you're already in there? My name is Mary. I've been modeling for I think two years, going on three. I was I think uh, I'm 20 right now, so I think when I was like on my late 18s. Well, I actually started modeling because my friend Abigail. She, I posted on Facebook that that's what I like to do. I like I wouldn't know how to start or anything, but I would like to model, and I didn't know she was a model at that time. And so she commented on my post, and then she's like, "Oh well, hey, you know I'm a model. I can help you out. Go to meets." And like she started introducing me to photographers and other models and meets and stuff. So because of her is how I started modeling through a Facebook post, <laughs> and. Um, well, yeah, since then I started like going to meets and stuff and right now I'm taking a small break because I'm pregnant and I like run out of breath quickly so I get tired but I'm starting to model a bit more. I'm starting to come more to meets and stuff and then after I have my baby I plan on uh, going through a company, my husband's company which he works for Falcon Tire so I'm probably going to start trying to model with them and travel and stuff. But that's all I want to say about that because I don't want to jinx it. But yeah, that's so far in my life right now. <laughs> Hello, hello. I'm watching that sound on her face. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Come closer to the dirt? Yeah. Can you back up and see what's up on the front? Back up on the front. There you go, just like that. Hello. Yeah. That's cute, that's cute. Again? Oh, excellent. Can you smile at me? Look at me. Very good. Mm -hmm. Smile, smile. There. Move your face there. There, okay. There. We're gonna put you over
I got it. I don't care about the reflection, I don't have a reflection. We'll get checked. Alright, right, 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 over here. Can you just pull that back here? Yeah, yeah, you're back. Okay. She's going to be standing where? She's right at the right at the waterline. Yeah. If you get rid of that little island like he's doing. She's standing right here, right? Where you're standing. Yeah. Right there. Money, yeah. <laughs> Each time, yeah, yeah. A lot of work there. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the uh, actual editing. Yeah. A lot of editing. Knowing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these so, are. So. We do a video out like that, okay? Not okay. Okay, after I'm done, I either call you up or email to you. Smile, there, smile. Okay, there. Okay, there. Okay, move the base. Okay. There. there. Okay. okay. I could share my rides. Uh, I have my map so you can <laughs> see it right away. You can put it like that. I like a leg out. Pretty like that. My name is Richard. Uh, been, I started uh, Night Owls about eight months ago. Been doing it for about eight months now. And I've been shooting photography for about 22 years. Started back in 95. My uncle was a professional wedding photographer. He invited me along to help him shoot. I got the bug. I've enjoyed photography ever since. So um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Then what are your plans for the Night Owl? Night Owls, I'm trying to expand Night Owls 
to a little bit bigger group. Uh, I eventually want to start a magazine and maybe some clothing um, and invite as many people as possible, create great, beautiful images for people. It's really where I want to take it and help along anybody who may need it. With, with my group, it's small enough right now where everybody knows everybody. And it's like a small little community, or a small little family, I should say. Um, we're we're close-knit, and we're very talkative. We, we, we help each other out. People need help, we're there. So it's more than a photography group. It's almost like, it's, it's almost like a little family, I would say. Yeah. I want to expand, not... I know it seems weird, but I don't really want this to grow huge. In a way, yes, but in a way, I like the small closeness that, that I have with the feeling of, of people. I know everybody who has attended the shoots. I've got good feedback, haven't had any drama, and things seem to be working out right now so far. So, yeah, I'm helping people out. It doesn't matter if you're pregnant. It doesn't matter if you, if you had a rough life, if things have gone bad in your life. If you're a model, I'm, you know, if you're a model, continue modeling. You don't have to stop just because something happens. These are pictures, the images that'll last forever. And that's what we're here to create. Lasting images, beautiful images.